Hey guys, so I was on Guest World yesterday and this happened. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I literally landed one away from Guest God. I landed on Albino Guest 2, and then next to it was Slender God, and not Slender God, next to Slender Guest was Guest God. I was right there. This happened to me a long time ago, back in 2019 too. I landed next to Jez, and right next to Jez was Bacon God, and <laughs> I can't take it anymore, bruh. I just want a mythical, bruh. I want a mythical. But anyways, so I was in the catacombs earlier with um, Ender. And you see where my alt is right there, Ravel to Fortnite? Um, he was Big Chungus, and he was like, hey, you should try teleporting me so we can get up here. And I told him, no, we can't get up there because we can't teleport each other. But then I tried anyway. I tried just jumping there by myself, and it actually worked. We were actually jump. Big Chungus was actually big enough to jump over there. But Ender couldn't make it, so... I thought, I then I remembered, when you're in a, alone in a VIP server, sometimes you're your normal avatar, and you have collisions on for some reason. So, we started a new server, we brought my alt there, and um, he was able to be like, kind of gave him a boost. We were both able to jump up there easily. So, that's what I'm going to tell you to do. So, this is how you break out of bounds in the catacombs. So, you're going to need, um, you're going to need someone, you're going to need someone, or just one of your alts or something like that. And you need a to start. You need to be the first person to join the server. So that means, um, to start a new server, you just need to block everyone that's in the other server. And since there, since Guest World's dead, there should be like only one server for the catacombs, like online right now. And when you block everyone, you can't join them. So it just starts a new server, and they hopefully they should be their normal avatar. And then you bring them up here. And you try jumping on them like I just did right there. You could do it as Slender Guest or you could do it as Big Chungus. So, um, yeah, you just jump up here. It should be easier with Big Chungus, but if you have Slender Guest, it can work too. Uh, I'm using Slender Guest because I know most of you don't have uh, Big Chungus and it's kind of hard to get. But anyways, I'm up here now. And um, there's not actually that much to do, but obviously it's just cool to be here because it's out of bounds. So... The first thing you'll see here is this, which this is where you get the ghost guest. And no, you cannot use this to get ghost guests. You can't glitch into the vault. I've been meaning, I've been wanting to make a video about this because when I go on guest world and I'm a ghost, people ask me like how I get it. Or sometimes they ask me like, can you help me get it? And I tell them no, it's only in beta. And they don't understand that like, you can't, even if you were in so like you, you, I'm pretty sure you guys, some of you might know that the vault, like the code, even when you put in the correct code, it just doesn't work because there's like an invisible wall that prevents you from getting through. And even if you did get through it, it still wouldn't work because the thing's just broken. Like literally not too long ago, I was actually able to glitch into it, me and Ender. And Ender doesn't have ghosts. So he jumped and he didn't get it because it's just broken. So you cannot get ghost guests. If you see someone with Ghost Guess, they're probably a beta player from when you were able to do it. And no, you can't just like go to back to beta somehow. That's just that's just impossible. That doesn't exist. So yeah, sorry. If only if only well, you know, they would like update the game, maybe. Ooh, updating the game. So anyways, um and then you'll see right here, uh this sign where usually this is like outside the catacombs this is like what the entrance to the catacombs would look like in guest city just has this tunnel this is a sign that says the tunnels i don't remember if that's what it says on the outside because like i don't really go to the catacombs entrance in guest city i just teleport there so i'll check after this video maybe this is like a early name of the catacombs or something or whatever so then there's just all this stuff not there's not much you can actually do you can't just you can't just like uh, you can't just use this to like glitch into areas like the like the diamond or the paladin area or just the chest locations just an area to wander around again like uh, look I'll go to the pad I'll go to the paladin area right now 
look, you can see the Paladin area right there, and you can you can jump down to it, you can go on top of it and stuff, but you there's no way to get in. Plus, uh, getting Paladin's not that hard compared to Big Chungus or Mythicals or, or Ghost. So, you I mean, you don't really need... And plus, even if you do glitch in, I don't think it would work, because usually, usually these things with, like, you need to be a certain level to get the skin usually don't work because like even if you do get into like whatever area you need to be in you'd still have to be that level or else it won't work uh so yeah here's me trying to get in i thought i could use the same thing i did to get into the ghost guest vault in here but no it didn't work but that doesn't matter i can get it's not blocked off like the from like the vault so yeah i, I, just, I had to die because i had no way of getting it back up but this, is, this is a cool thing when you die, because, like, you technically pass through, like, those dark tunnel areas, the lighting kind of, look, look at this, the lighting follows you up, but then it goes, it looks cool, but then, look, see, it just disappears after a little bit. That It actually really, uh, I like the way it looks like that, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this. It's nothing, not really useful for anything, it's just cool to be around, because, you know, being out of bounds in areas is, like, funny or cool. You can just discover what's out there and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's it. And hopefully, when I upload another video, I'll have a mythical.